The next topic that we are going to learn is education as an important element in the human resource development. What resource or development of the humans? I feel in all kind of developments, education is very, very vital and plays an important role. Now, what is education? Education is some say that those people who have three R's, that is the skill of reading, writing and arithmetic. There are others who feel that education means the process of teaching, training and learning. That is to say that when we go to the school, college or universities, the process which involves teaching, training and learning is termed as education. But we all know that education is when a person has the skill, knowledge, expertise to pursue a job, when he has an ability to reason out, when he is rational, that is the time he is educated. Next, we talk about the importance of education. It would be wrong to correlate education and importance because education is importance and importance is education. Without education, we cannot have good, learned, well-aware citizens, which is the requirement of any democratic government. We cannot have technical development. We cannot have, in fact, any kind of development in the country without education. So the all-round progress of the citizens of the country, it all depends on education and education alone. Let us talk about the growth of education in India. And the first is the primary education. Primary education means the children studying in the classes 1 to 8 and those between 6 to 14 years of age. Well, this is the most neglected area or segment of education. Not many children go to school at this level and of course it is due to the social and economic poverty that we have in India. We yet who have to open up the minds of the parents to send their children and especially the girl child to school. And here we see when parents do not have enough to eat they feel that education is useless and the children should become a helping hand in earning more money. Thus, it remains a neglected segment in the country. Next, we have the secondary education in India. After independence, the government has been laying a great stress on the secondary education in India. And in this process, the government has opened up, opened up lot of Navode and Kendriya Vidyalayas, wherein education is imparted in this segment. Next, we have the higher education in India. After independence, lots of universities, colleges and other such institutions have been opened by the government of India to impart higher education. The University Grant Commission actually directs the entire higher education in India. Then we must have the vocationalization of education that is mere reading skills is not all. A person should have an expertise, a skill so that he can earn his bread. That's very important. Vocational education has been started by the government of India in various fields leading from the agriculture to the industry to the other such skills. Then the rural education. The government also has to ensure rural education in India because in urban areas we are seeing a growth in education but in the rural areas there is still a long way to go and we have to focus our attention in the area of education in the rural areas. Then is the adult and the female education. Education has no bar of age or of gender. Therefore, 
whether the people have become old and still are wanting to learn, the government has to open up various night schools to provide education to the adults and also give them aids of various kinds. Female education, of course, is also again a neglected part. Therefore, much stress or focus has to be paid on the female education in India. The government on top of all this has also had a drive for all literate education. That is to say, all the people of India must be educated and the government has been giving many incentives to bring about this great change. Of course, there are many factors, there are many challenges which are still to be faced. There are many illiterate people of India in India still. The government still has to pay more attention and give more money in the field of education. We have to have more stress in the rural areas. The females have to be given more importance but still we are slowly making a progress and definitely education which is a vital important factor in the human resource development is quickly catching up in India. And that was all about your chapter. Thank you.